Well, yeah, this is what I um, this is what arrived in the mail today. I did take it out of the packaging and take took the plastic off just to you know save time and whatever. Um, this is my winnings from the Meandering Mike's Valentine Edition giveaway. I do believe it, it was for that, which is totally cool because it's tomorrow. Um, yeah, it it was uh, what it, what blew me away actually, because at first I was thinking, oh, there's not going to be very many games to choose from. God, I'm terrible. Um, and that because I think he he wanted to not you know get towards like Deathmatch 2000, the box you know the board game edition or something like that um, for Valentine's Day. So I thought oh, I'm not gonna whatever. But and also the second thing is I'm a I'm, I don't live in the United States, so um, part of the agreement was uh, anybody out there you got to pay the full on for shipping. So I was like yeah I knew what I was in for is what I'm saying. Um, and boy I picked the wrong. If you know what you're in for for shipping costs, because this thing is flipping holy. I, I've been saying that to myself many times. I'm like, Jesus, this thing is heavy, and I haven't even opened it up yet. But I have looked at it because, and yet again, God, I felt bad afterwards when I was getting down to about two or three games. And that's the thing I was saying about the Meandry Mike's uh, choice of games. There was a ton to choose from. I was really surprised uh, when I did finally decide to go this route. Uh, for a variety of reasons. I'll show you why. Uh, for one, this is my original RuneQuest. Uh, I think it came with a, sl uh, a, a cover sleeve or whatever. Um, this is the only other fantasy role-playing game as a kid uh, that turned my head away from, you know, uh, from uh, Dungeons & Dragons. I played other um, themes or whatever, but this one, it's just something about it. Uh, well, first off, the cover, right off the bat. Uh, it just had, the, uh, just beautiful to me, um, it just had this, I'm not saying Dungeons and Dragons wasn't serious or whatever, it just had this kind of a vibe to it. Um, yeah, it's in great shape. Uh, and Rurik, uh, and just the way they did uh, the cults and magic, and it was just, um, oddly enough, I was talking to Meandry and Mike earlier on, um, about about this and I don't know why I was always under the mistaken impression they were connected with uh, spell law and arms law and all that stuff but uh, he corrected me and said no 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 I don't know why I, I like with um, the iron wind and stuff I always I don't know why I am um, that connected as well as I didn't clue in and I should have for crying out loud you should see Rurik in here when he becomes a, ru a ruin lord um, he's dressed like a freaking Spartan for God's sakes and um, Anyways, let's look at the real stuff because that's why I, I want to thank uh, Meandering Mike for this because um, I'm going to be getting hours upon hours upon hours of enjoyment out of this even if I don't play the game, which I will be because you're going to see something in a minute. There's a flipping solo component in this, but I don't know about you guys. Um, as if that would have would have stopped me or has it ever stopped me from playing a role-playing game solo? Never. But now I don't even have to worry about that. Um, what I'm saying is, just like when I was a kid uh, with a lot of the stuff that I purchased, um, I'm going to be probably spending hours upon hours upon hours just going over this again, reading it and allowing my imagination to just have some fun. Um, anyways, what got me for this was uh, I watched the unboxing by, well, let's unbox it while I talk. Um, I watched the unboxing uh, by Ard Wolf. I think he did a video of it about a year ago. And he oozed over it. Uh, I think he's already biased towards uh, enjoying RuneQuest. However, you could see him purposely making sure that that was not going to bias the unboxing vibe he was getting from it. It was just, he was so blown away by the quality and the breadth of material that you were getting that, um, I mean, yeah, he dissed the dice, so there you go. Um, so what I'm saying is, oh, okay, and what bid it for me, and that, that's why I'm not, I'm not, I should have clued in. It, it was around there, like you can see, like, Rurik, doesn't look like a knight in shining armor. A lot of the, uh, there's bronze, left, right, and flipping center. I am a massive Assyrian nut. Anybody who knows me ever since I was a little kid, 
I've been to the uh, British Museum twice. I've not gone to any other part of the museum except for the uh, Assyria exhibit. I've been there for like 10 hours in total. I don't have no idea what the rest of the museum looks like. I couldn't care less at the moment. Um, that type of thing. Wait until you see, I think it was in Ard Wolf's Lairs. Um, I think it's because part of the, one of the other covers I think here actually fully reveals the back bit. Maybe I'm, or something or something. And I went, oh my god. I can play, I've always wanted to play an RPG game, like, you know, in the land of Assyria or something like that, and I was just like, oh, you've got to be joking. Um, yeah, I actually did one in Mesoamerica and whatnot, so, but uh, let's go see, I wanted to just, ah, oh, look at this, jeepers jumping, huh, huh, holy F, oh, this is going to be fun. So what I'm saying is, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is it. This is the one that knocked my socks off. I went, okay, that's it. Game over. Look at that. If you, Like I said, if you know anything about me. Oh, and that was the other thing. When I saw that too, I was like, oh my god. That was like my first um, RPG campaign I ever played in D&D. Uh, &D. No, I didn't do medieval. Uh, I went straight off into Central America. I had the deities and demigods uh, book and um, off I went. Because I, I was totally obsessed with the Aztecs as well. But this. See you later. I'm gone now. Uh, and that. Look. So if I can. And I don't. Like I said. I didn't even need this. To uh, go off into Wonderland. I'm sure. To, just like most of you guys. Oh. Sweet Jesus. So what I'm saying is. Thank you so much. Uh, this is going to just be a dandy and a half. To go through. Um, wowzers. Look at that guy in the zebra. Oh, I love that stuff. I just, there was something about this thing, and now it just looks like it's gone, um, and I don't know, even if, yes, yes, I know it's, they're not connected to Iron Crown Ent Enterprises, but it still has that vibe for me in some ways of, um, the Iron Wind and whatnot, and, uh, that always captivated me as well. Um, wow, this is going to be fun. <laughs> so, I want to get to the map. Come on, you. Where are you? Holy shoot, there's a ton of people in here, man. Uh, it's not like, oh, by the way, uh, you've got a choice of, you know. Oh, this guy looks interesting. Wolf pelt cloak. Um, who would I want to be? I just want to see quickly. She's interesting. Like, what kind of effing history is going on with her? Sorry, maybe I should zoom out a bit. I wasn't even looking, but... Yeah. God, they're, they're just so cool looking, man. I don't know what the hell's going on, so... Um, I'll find out later. Oh my god, Rurik! Cool, man. Yeah, that's more like, well, he had a big sword, but, <clears throat> excuse me, nice. Oh, I kind of like that person. Mm-hmm. Well, it's got that 300-ish look, eh? Oh, there's another interesting person. I, I, I don't know if I'd want to trust that person. But you never know, I mean... Don't know the backstory. So hold on, I want to see this, these puppies. And that'll be that. Uh, I'm just, yet again, I'm just super duper ultra. Oh my god. Nice stuff, man. I think I know what I'll be doing today. Later on. I'm not going to tell you. Oh yeah, it's got that, um, oh, I can't remember her name. That look for, or that she did the, um, the journey of, of Frodo. It's got that look. God, oh, that looks lovely. Come a long way. I'll show you the, uh, the original uh, map of, uh, I don't know um, if it has all the, the same stuff on here or not. Um, the thing that uh, always re uh, I remember the most is that giant block, that giant cube. Um, hold on. There's a palm tree around there. Ah, the trolls. The troll can. Uh, she's 
Where are you? Look at that, eh? That's it. The block. That's what reminds me. Yeah, and the palm tree there. I was just like, what is going on? Like, it just felt, uh, yeah. I didn't get to play it uh, very much, unfortunately. A little bit. But, uh, anyway, so that's it. I'm super uh, happy. I can't believe, uh, yeah, well, I've never won anything. Yeah, when I heard um, um, Janelle um, Mandarin Mike's um, wife mention my username, Nanguea, Nanguea, that's how you pronounce it. Um, I was like, this is totally cool. I had no idea what I was going to get, but uh, now this is going to be, yeah, I'm super duper ultra happy. So thank you so much, and uh, yeah, have a wonderful time, guys. See you, and yeah, and obviously super special thanks to me, Andrew and Mike. Thank you, thank you.